Hey everybody, welcome back to Without Code. This is Ashton again. Let's explore our new image mask widget for the web builder. What this widget does is show an image behind a transparent image mask. Now our first example here has a mask in the shape of the word hello. And when we click on the image or the button here on the bottom right, we get this really cool zoom in effect, which then reveals the image in full, along with a content panel where you can place custom text right down here. It's pretty awesome and adds a great deal of interaction and flair to your website. Now this is great for showing portfolios, past work, future projects, and much more. You can use it in full width panels like we see here in the demo, or size the widget smaller for scaled down usage. This widget is a great choice for building an entire page quickly by simply stacking several of the widgets one on top of another, which looks great right out of the gate, and also very engaging for the site visitor. Let's switch over to the builder and take a look at how we set this thing up. Let's jump into our widgets library and we'll drag the image mask widget out into a new row on our page. There we go. Now, since we're seeing all the defaults for size, text styling, colors and stuff, we'll start a little backward from the usual and style it up a bit first. Now, right off the bat, let's change the title text styling. The title text here we see has two versions, the one when the panel is unopened and the one you see when you open the panel. Now the unopened version is up here in the upper left corner, and then once the panel opens, the same title is shown in the center. Now let's change the unopened title now. So in the widget settings panel here, let's go to the design section, and we'll go down to title text styling, and let's change the font size to 80, and let's change the actual font to Oswald, and we can change the font color to white. Perfect. Also in this panel, you can see styling settings for the title text when the panel is opened. So these settings only apply to the title text once you have actually clicked the panel to be opened. So keep in mind here that there are two versions of this title text. Now we'll go ahead and leave these settings alone for now. So now let's change the actual text to something simple here in the content section of the widget panel. I'll go ahead and type hello. Great. So now let's load our content. We need the mask and the image itself. Now we have a section here for mask and background image, and underneath that we have a link here to download image masks. This download includes all the image masks that we provided here in a zip folder. So you can download it here, right here from the widgets panel, anytime you want. Let me pull up my finder window here where I can show you what comes with the download. Now these are images that have transparency so that the background image shows through the image mask. So we use PNGs that allow for transparency and we've included a bunch here to get you started, but these are really easy to make and you can make custom ones anytime you want. You can start by creating a new Photoshop project with a solid color fill and create any shape you want that you cut out of the solid color. And then you'll of course wanna make sure the project has a transparent background set and then just save the image as a PNG file. So let me click into mask and background image, and we'll click add image for mask image. Now I've already uploaded one of our files here called circle masks, so I'll select this one for now. Now once we do that, you'll notice that the mask image is now being cut off on the top and bottom, and that's because the panel here is smaller than the mask image itself. It's important to keep in mind here that there are two components at play here with the sizing. There's the mask image and then the panel itself. The panel is the solid color area. So simply put, the panel area should be sized large enough to fully contain the image mask. Now since our image mask is being cut off on the top and bottom, we're gonna wanna increase the height of the panel. So let's go back to the widget settings panel here and we'll click to design. And then into panel height here, we'll set the height to 700. Awesome. And while I'm here, I'm also going to match the color of the panel to the color of the image mask. And I have the color code written down right here. So let's set this to EED7C7. Great. Now let's actually talk about colors for a moment. Now you can do whatever you want with the colors here with this widget. You can use the panels as color blocks or match the panel and image mask to the existing page background. So for example, if your page is white, you could set the panel color to white and use one of the white image masks included in the download. Just keep in mind that you may need to edit an image mask if you've got a specific color in mind that you'd like to use. So now let's go back to the mask and background image section and let's add a background image. I've already got one uploaded to my library here, so I'll select that one now. 
Nice. And this will probably look best if we set this entire row to full width. So I'm going to go into my row settings and set it to be full bleed. And this will, of course, make the panel stretch to the whole width of the browser here. Now, if you're using multiple instances of this widget on a single page and they have colored panels like we see here in the demo, then it's best to remove the top and bottom spacing from the actual row. So let me go back into those row settings here under spacing, and I'm going to set the padding here on the top and bottom to zero. Perfect. It's looking pretty good now, so let me go ahead and give it a preview. And here you can click the image or the explorer text here in the bottom right to open up the panel. Awesome, everything's looking great. And note that the same title text is used in the open panel, and when you scroll down, you get the content blocks right there. Let me head back to the content area of the widget here in the editor, and I wanna point out the button text field and content blocks area. Now you can enter all of this as you'd like, and you're welcome to leave the button text or content blocks empty if you don't want them to show. Now before we close out, I just want to point out a couple more things in the design section of our panel over here on image, mask, width, and height. Now here in our example, we stuck with the default size on these, but you can use these settings to adjust the general size of the mask. Now these are generally best set if they stay the same together. Also, we already covered the title text styling, but just keep in mind that these cover styling for both the unopened title in the top left and the opened title that's centered. Also here for button styling, that's the text there in the bottom right, and it really is just text, but it does act as a button to open up the panel, as does the image mask itself. And finally here, content blocks text styling. There are three separate text styling sections here, one for each text block. So I think that about covers our image mask widget for the Without Code website builder. Have some fun with this widget as it's sure to add a great deal of energy, pop, and interaction to your site as a whole. So thanks again for watching, and if you have any issues at all, don't hesitate to reach out to us in support. Take care.